Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at the tools and importing and exporting them in WordPress. Under the dashboard we're going to go down and click on tools and this will bring up any tools we already have over here to the right. The first is Press This, which is an application that your browser runs that will allow you to grab little pieces of the internet including images, text, videos, things like that from any web page and it also allows you to edit it before you save or publish it in a post on your site. It also has a category and tags converter. So say if you have a bunch of categories and you want to convert them to tags, this can do it for you and vice versa. Go from tags back to categories. So let's take a look at other ones that we can get. First, I'm going to click on import. And other tools that it has are a blogger tool, and this is to import posts, comments, and users, blog roll to bring in a blog roll importer to import links in OPML format, categories and tags converter, which we already have, a live journal importer, so any posts that you make from live journal using your API can bring it straight to your WordPress, a movable type and type pad, which is when you can install the movable type importer, so posts and comments can be imported straight in from type pad an RSS, which allows you to put an RSS feed in your blog, Tumblr, which brings in a Tumblr importer, so posts and media from Tumblr can be brought in, but you need your API for that one as well, and then a WordPress importer for posts, pages, comments, etc. So let's go ahead and try the Blogger importer. And we're going to go ahead and click Install Now. It's going to pull the plugin in and then I'm going to click on activate plugin in run importer. Now as this says you have to have a Google account and then you have to be upgraded to be hosted on Blogspot or a custom domain that isn't an FTP. So you have to let Blogger know that you want WordPress to access your account. So after you provide authorization it's going to send you back here. So I'm going to click on authorize and you're going to click on grant access. And from there, if you've got a blog, then it will actually import it back in and it will restart. Now, as it says, this information keeps you from having to start your whole blog over again. If you attempt to re-import from it, though, duplicate blogs and comments are going to be skipped. So you can clear account information. And then we're going to go into plugins. And now under my plugins, you can see we've got a blogger importer. So let's go back into tools. And this time we're going to look at export. And when we click on export, it's going to allow us to create an XML file that we can put to our computer. This is going to contain all of our posts, pages, comments, custom fields, categories, and tags. That means that you can back this up to your computer, so if you have to restart your website again, if there's a mistake made that completely deletes your site or messes it up, then you can go ahead and use this. So I'm going to click on All Content, and I'm going to click on Download Export File. And then it's going to ask if I want to open it with my web design software, or if I want to save it, and I'm going to click Save. And it's going to put it into my download. So then, if I have to import again, so that way, if I need to import my website again, I can do that and it'll be just the same as it is now. So that's how you use the tools in WordPress. It's just one more thing that makes WordPress even better and easier for building up your website. So thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.